Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, we will read data from CSV file. Okay, we have a CSV file. Here it is a series CSV file with us, and we have a column, uh, a row of name, state, and zip code, and in the data. Okay, so we will read it from this file in React JS. So let's get started. Yeah, the final result will be like this. Okay, let's read it. See it. We have this data from the CSV file. So first of all, I have created the project. After project creation, we have an app.js and I imported it in the index page. And the package that we would like to use that would be the parse. Okay, this package. Mm, yeah, this parse. This package. Okay, you should install this package using npm npm install name of this package parse. Okay. After installing this package, so now let's start start our coding. So first I will create an input field, should assign values to this, type, sorry, type is equal to, what is it, file, name is equal to file, accept, it should accept dot csv file, and I will add some styles to this. Play black and also origin should be 10 pixel and auto. After this, so now whenever we click on this input field, we will import the uh, CSV file. So we should call unchange event handler. Okay, unchange. Whenever it changes, it means a file is imported. So then we will call a function. Okay, handle file. So now I will create this function. Function handle or a row function we can create. Handle file is equal to a row function. It will have an event. Yes, so now what we should do, we will import the parse package and library. Import from parse. Okay, from this, we imported this component. And now we will use this component. So we will use that component dot parse and here we will pass our file event dot target dot files zero next okay the first file and the second parameter would be and here we will pass uh, for example the header is true with us sorry it is it it's true and skip uh, empty line should be skippable should skip the empty line skip elements uh, skip empty elements true uh, complete whenever it, com it completed the parsing so then we will have a function here and we have the, the data here result and now we will use this data the result uh, what we should do so first of all I will um, separate the columns and the header and the other data the values from this data from this result okay so what I should do I should first of all I will create two uh, array const column array is equal to an array empty array and also const value values array After creating this, so now I will map my data. I use map function. Okay, result dot data dot map. Here, here we have the data. Use arrow function. What I should do now? Um, I should push the data, the columns and the values to these arrays. Okay, uh, column array dot push. Yeah, push object dot keys keys 
of the data that we have uh, and same to this for the values array array dot push object dot values from d after pushing the data now um, here we will come outside of the this so here i will sit uh, now i will create variable state now i will create the states okay first of all a state part to put the data in that okay the result for the second one to put the columns and the third one would be to put the values in that so let's create those states the first one would be const data set data is equal to use state hook and another word would be column array set columns is equal to use state third one would be const values set values use state So I use it. These are all array types. I will just assign empty arrays here. And now I will assign the values to this. Okay, these values that I have. So first I will assign to the set data. Okay, to the set this one set data. I will assign this result dot data. And second uh, to the uh, set column. Set column. To this I will assign column. array sorry column array and the zero next the first array the first row of table and now set values here i will assign values array after this now i will pitch and display it on the browser just come here here first i will create a table table and i will just style it sorry class names style should use in line style style is equal to and border collapse collapse and also the border now here come to the th t head okay here i will have an arrow here i will map the data now to map the data i will use uh, this column array column array dot map and here i will have column in the index here i will have a th assign key to this key will be i and also here we should print the column at the data so now let's come to the t body to the body tag here we will print the values i will map the values now values dot map and here i have values in the index So now let's create here an array uh, row. I will assign key to this. That would be I. And here I will use the uh, TD to print the data. TD. I will print the would be. values that map so in this video we have all values all rows for example 2 3 or 4 values we have all those th uh, rows so now we will fetch the data of every row so for that uh, we should write here um, 
v dot yeah this it is for example the first row second and third row v dot map i will use v dot map value index now it's so i will just cut this data control d and paste it here and i will use value instead of v value this one okay and also let's assign a key so let's check where is the error yes I missed this one and also here so yes let's check it what happened now uh, let's come to the the server is running already okay so let's come see it let's import the file csv file see it we have this data so now let's border it also i will just add the border to this um, th also style border pixel solid black let's copy this to the also let's check it now uh, let's refresh it let's click this this we don't have the borders th border one pixel oh it is black sorry see it it has bordered so it was all about um, importing the data from or parsing the data from parsing the csv file so if you have liked the video please subscribe our youtube channel uh, thanks for watching